Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my little kitchen. Now, do you want to get dinner on the table faster? Do you also want to save time and energy? If the answer is yes to both of those questions, then look no further. This is the video for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to reduce your cooking time and spend more time on the table enjoying those meals that you cook up with your loved ones. I'm going to show you how to use a pressure cooker today. One of those things that our mums used to use years ago that we find too daunting to use. But honestly, it's one of the easiest gadgets to use. So let me run through how we use a pressure cooker to cook with. So come with me to see how you can make meals cheaper, quicker, and happier. Right, okay guys, so I've got a three litre Amazon Basics pressure cooker here. And mine is really, really heavy and really, really solid. And that's what you want. And it's a stainless steel bottom and it's suitable for all uh, types of hobs, which is electric, gas, induction, and ceramic. And, you know, when you're looking for pressure cookers, buy one that suits your sort of like family's needs. Again, like I said, it's a three liter one. It cooks around sort of like up to a kg of meat in there. Uh, half a kg cooks absolutely fine. There's lots of room in there. But if you start going up about approximately maximum one kg, it'll take to cook in there, which I've used in the past. So yeah, um, which is perfectly fine. It's also got um, water level indicator here. So as you can see, there's numbers. Um, so mine goes up to three litres. And again, it's very handy because sometimes you don't know whether to put more or less water in. And with having that water indicator there, it tells you that, you know, you can't go up above a certain level. Otherwise, the pressure cooker um, will will not be working to its full capacity. Right. OK, so it comes with a lid like this and the lid is basically it's it's got little ridges in there, um, which sort of like help its secure tightly to the base here which is the pot and again it's very simple to use you it's just like a jigsaw so you just find the um the right sort of like piece and just slot it in and then just close that lid and that seal should be really really tight and that is because you have here um a rubber sort of like ring a rubber band whatever you want to call this and this sits inside of your lid so you can always take it out and wash it and then obviously let it dry and just put it back in again so once it goes in it secures that lid if for any reason you forget to put that in by chance which i've done many a times and you close it the lid does not close so you can see it just does not close and um, you will not be cooking with pressure using your pressure cooker so always make sure you put that back in again and you can get replacements of these by the way as well online um, so yeah once that goes in that is a secure seal and you can start cooking so with the lid you've got some functions here you've got a safety valve which is basically used that once you automatically sort of like close your lid like this and you click the the lid into position and you lock it by putting that little red lever down you're ready to sort of like cook and pressure cook so once the pressure inside rises it the, the valve automatically inside the lid recognizes that pressure and obviously here you've got a little uh, valve post button which pops up once the pressure inside rises and that indicates that your food inside has started to pressure cook so looking out for that button when your cooking is crucial because that from that point on you set your timings on your phones on your clocks for whatever is cooking in there to get the accurate time of your your product inside and the other thing is it has two pressure cooking levels so you've basically got this here which sits at horizontal and that is the release steam release um, lever which sits at horizontal the first cook is the slow cook which is at number one and the second cook is for the faster cook which is number two so number one is basically used for things like vegetables and um, lentils dals uh, and things like that and then the, the number two the faster pressure cook is used for things like meat, lamb, mutton, beef, and things like that, that you really want to cook quicker and faster. And a pressure cooker is basically a, a cooker that uses a combination of three things, steam, heat, and pressure to cook food faster and save 
time and energy. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to use this using a product that I'm going to be cooking in the pressure cooker. So you just get an idea of what, you know, what you can sort of like use and how long the timings take. Again, timings will vary. Let me just um, remind you because obviously the size of products inside the pressure cooker, different types of pressure cookers will cook food differently. But all I can tell you is that you're going to be able to get dinner on the table a lot faster with the help of a pressure cooker and you're going to save so much on time and energy so let me just move my camera over and show you what we're going to be doing in the pressure cooker right okay guys so i've got my pressure cooker on the hob the heat setting that i've got is nine which is the highest heat setting i'm just giving the pressure cooker a head start just by heating it up and i have here approximately 800 grams in weight of Maris Piper potatoes, which I'm going to be showing you how to cook in the pressure cooker today. So I'm going to add my water in, which I have it in a jug here. This is two um, and a half um, mugs full and it's 700 milliliters. So I'm going to add that in first of all. And then I'm going to add my potatoes in like that. And then I'm going to pop my lid on. Oops. <laughs> Even I struggle with this sometimes. <laughs> uh, there you go. And we're going to click the, um, the safety sort of like button on the lid. The lever down. And I'm going to turn this little dial here to cooking setting one, which is for vegetables. So... What we're going to do now is we're just going to allow the, the water that we've added into our pressure cooker to start boiling, to build up all of that pressure and to start sort of like coming up. The, the three combinations of cooking in the pressure cooker, like I mentioned earlier, steam, heat and pressure will cook the potatoes. Once that pressure rises, this little button here, the red button in the lid will rise up. Once this button rises up and steam from here, where the release uh, cap is, starts coming out slowly. That's the time for when we're gonna set our timer because my potatoes are going to take seven minutes to cook. And then after seven minutes, I'll show you how it looks. But first of all, we're gonna wait for this little button to pop up. Right, okay guys, now that this little button's popped up and the steam is coming out of here, I don't know whether you can see it, but you can definitely hear it. Um, now is the time to set your timer and after the timer is up I'll show you how it looks and how to release the steam. Right so now to release the pressure what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this little lever horizontal and that's when the, the pressure that's built inside will release out via steam. Now this lever will drop down once the, the pressure inside decreases so I can safely open my um, my lid. Without this dropping down, without, without the, the the pressure built inside releasing and this lever dropping down, I cannot open my lid. It's not allowing, it's locked basically. And that's one of the safety features of the pressure cooker. So now I'm gonna turn my extraction on and you might be able to see the uh, the steam coming off when we release the pressure, uh, but you definitely will be able to hear it. So I'm just gonna turn my extraction on. So here goes. Let me just turn my extraction off now because I let it sit there and I was going through, <laughs> I was recording the video footage. Obviously the temperature, uh, the pressure inside has dropped anyway. So that little lever now just dropped and oh, I'm going to show you these potatoes. Ooh, look at that. So these potatoes are fully cooked and I've got myself a knife here and I'm just going to grab one. Hold on. Oops. And there you are. It goes straight through. Let me just pop that down. Let's grab another one. Perfect. Perfectly cooked potatoes in a pressure cooker. And that is how easy it is to make your favorite foods in a pressure cooker. So there we have it. Potatoes cooked in a pressure cooker in seven minutes. That's pretty impressive. Now, one thing to remember is cooking times will vary for potatoes because there's different types and the different sizes as well. So as long as you apply the same principle that I did whilst cooking these potatoes in my pressure cooker, you should be able to find that perfect timing with yours. 
leaving you with this one i hope you've enjoyed watching it please do give it a thumbs up if you have found it helpful subscribe to the channel tell your friends to subscribe to the channel as well we've got some fantastic pressure cooker recipes coming and turn your bell notification on for all things cooking and i'll catch you soon with the next one till then take care and happy eating